here are 35 records of our sample student table and in this table you, we have class is 4 for around 8 records we will try to collect these 8 records and display we will start with our basic template with try accept and else block here we will write our query first q is the variable now we will say select select star star we are uh, picking up all the columns star from student where now the filter where class equal to 4 now this is the query we are right now inside the try we will write the we will execute it <coughs> so let's cr crusher my crusher is equal to my connection is our connection we are just written above here it is we have declared it is a connection string execute what you will execute will execute the query the query we have executed now we got the microser so once we get the microser we can use this to get number of rows or row count row count now here we will get now using the microser we will get the list so let's say my data is equal to my fetch all we have already discussed about fetch all fetch one fetch many in our previous video so this is the list we get it from my data now in this <coughs> row for rows in my data now we'll list out all the data it's a proper list print rows that's all that should give us the result or all the students of class 4 here it is you can see all are having class 4 now in this and you can see the last is total number of rows 9 that is because of my cursor row count let's use a where condition to get a single record or row here we have used the same template now before the try we will use the query hours query is select star from student where id every uh, rows have a one unique id field or id is equal let's say 4 so this is the id or a single record we want to get now we will use a try block so my cursor equal to my connection dot execute q q is your query now here we will get my row is equal to my cursor dot uh, you can use page one because we don't expect more than one record so print my row fine let that's all and here if you want we can use our my cursor also my cursor row count fine let us run this you can see we have got the acha here c u r s o r my cursor fine let's run it again yeah total row is 1 you can see the one record of id equal to 4 is returned if you want to print a particular say name only then we can use it like this row 1 row 1 means let's run this yeah the name is printed here we'll now use a parameterized query this query in this we will take the user input as the id value and display the matching record I yeah, just copied it and pasted it here now we will not take directly the value of the id from the query we will use a parameter for it how we will take it is we will use percentage s fine now we are told that uh, query it contains a parameter which has to be passed to the mysql database separately now let us first create a tuple my tuple or we'll let's give the name as data my data is what it is it will take it as id fine before that let's take the input so id is uh, it's a input we'll ask the user to enter student id fine the user will enter the 
id here the variable will go now here while executing we'll pass the value of tuple here my data here tuple when one element is there will better to use a comma now this tuple you can extend and add more values suppose student id is this or class is for all those parameters you can take it and it is whenever we are taking a user input it is safe to use parameterized query because that way that it we can prevent the injection attack so let's uh, execute this and see let's say i am giving input student id is 8 you can see the record details of the 8 has come up so this is how we use a parameter query and uh, execute and get the matching record